Welcome. In this lesson, I am going to show you an exercise that I call the owning modal mixture exercise, owning modal borrowing. Um, a little bit ago, I posted a video about what is modal mixture or what is modal borrowing. And this is a way to practice it um, that I just love. It's just a very specific uh, exercise, a specific way to kind of map it out and hear it. And any little chunk of it is just so rad sounding and great for songwriting and great for kind of just learning your theory, mapping the guitar out, all that stuff. Um, so let's just go over the basics here first and I'll show you how, how to really see the combination of, of major keys and minor keys, which is what modal mixture is. And you can you know, check out that video I did a, a few weeks ago. Um, so modal mixture is you have all your chords from major key and you have your all your chords from the same rooted minor key. So you have all your chords. We're going to do F major. Actually, let's do, um, yeah, let's do F major um, and then F minor. And then all the chords that come from that key and all the chords that come from that key, you can just kind of swap them in and out. You can borrow back and forth anytime. That's what modal mixture is. You can do it with other modes too, but kind of the major and minor um, are, are the common ones. So just as a quick overview of uh, chords in the major key, we need to be able to play up and down. I'm going to do it off F here, the first fret lowest string. So we have the one chord is major, the two chord is minor. And I'll back up a step. You want to see the scale really clearly along the string. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. This is F major scale. One, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then you want to make the chords off of it. The one chord is major, the two chord is minor, the three chord is minor, four chords major, five chords major. We're just doing triads, not seventh chords. Six chord is major, the seventh chord is diminished, and the back to the root chord, back to the tonic chord is major. So major, seven, diminished, minor, major, major, minor. Okay, so we hear that sound in there. Good. And then the minor chords are minor the second chord is diminished the third chord is major four is minor five is minor flat six is major flat seven is major and back to the minor um so again check out that other video i'll put a link down below um if you want to get kind of uh, i walk through slower and in more detail basically that and then play around with it a little bit to show you the example this is now that you now that we have that chords along this string in major chords along the string in minor it's very simple i just want to show you this because it's just if you want to explore this is just an awesome way to practice it um, i'm going to start up high and i'm going to play at, off of every root you know the one chord then it's down to seven then down to six and down to five i'm going to play the major version then the minor version and what this does is it creates just this like dripping voice leading the kind of descending down it's just uh gorgeous and kind of moody sounding you're you're creating these half steps and uh, closer voice leading um, instances of n notes still you can think of it as moving through the major scale you're just creating these like chromatic movements in between by just adding the the chords from the minor key in there so we'll just start with one and then you go to one of the minor key okay and even if you understand all this i think this is one of the best exercises to to just ingrain it more so um one one of the minor key seven from the major key, seven from the minor key. Here I was just kind of moving in this really cool way. Um, six from the major key, six from the minor key. Love it. Five from the major key, five from the minor key, four from the major key, four from the minor key, three from the minor, uh, from the major key, three from the minor key. I just love the sound of this. And, the, and, and I think used in songs, this is kind of little pieces of this, you know, one instance at a time is, is actually often exactly the way it's used in music and in songs. Two from the major key, two from the minor key, and then one from the major key. And if you want to go back up from minor to major, you can do that too. I really like the descending mostly, but we have one from minor, one from major, two from minor, and then two from major, three from minor three from major, four from minor, four from major, five from minor, five from major, six from minor, six from major, seven from minor, seven from major. I hope I said all those right, uh, but I, I, uh, I played through it, but it's kind of a mouthful to say it as I go. So now I'm gonna do this, I'm just gonna demonstrate both ways without talking, and that's really all I wanted to show you.
a lot of times when I show this to people, uh, sometimes the comment I get is, it, it sounds, well, it sounds like radio heady, right? They sounds like this really um, harmonically, I keep saying moody, but that's kind of what I think of it as. And uh, certainly Radiohead uses a lot of that kind of, uh, the, those kinds of devices. Um, I'm gonna do it back up. So that's it. If you did it with other voicings along other strings or connect, uh, I just like to do it in one spot just to show you the idea, but there's so much practice to be done. There's so much internalizing to be done if you like it to do it in other places. I like to use uh, this voicing a lot. That's just one, five, three. If I did it along uh, the fifth string root one, five, three, then we would get. forces you to think about what you're doing and kind of hear that a little bit so owning modal mixture owning modal borrowing exercise um and i don't know i like it i think it's cool i wanted to show you i think it's a great thing to practice if you're interested in that particular theory concept and wanting to get see it on the fretboard and all of that so that's it for this lesson just a quick one for you and hope to see you in another one soon and happy practicing